Okay class, for today's lesson, I asked everyone to bring something that has methyl cellulose in it. Let's start over here. I brought a face wash. I brought these fiber capsules. They help me poop. I brought uh, this bag of cement. Where did you even get that? I brought plant-based meat, but I feel weird eating this now that I know the same ingredient is in those other things too. Is it safe? This is exactly why we're looking at methylcellulose today, because it has such a broad range of uses. Before I answer your question, let's explore why it's used in so many products. First, we need to know what is methylcellulose. It's made from cellulose, which makes up the structure of plants and is not digestible, which means it isn't absorbed by your body and just passes through. Cellulose is also insoluble and doesn't dissolve in water. By treating it with a gas called methyl chloride, methyl cellulose is produced and the chemical structure is changed so that there are now methyl groups present. This is important because it allows methyl cellulose to be water soluble. Another type of methyl cellulose is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, which can be made by treating cellulose with both propylene oxide and methyl chloride. It has a slightly different structure, but it's still water soluble. Water solubility is key because it allows methyl cellulose to have many uses. Adding methyl cellulose to liquid increases the viscosity or thickness of the liquid. This is why it is added to liquid soaps like your face wash, shampoo, and lotion to give them a thick, creamy consistency. It is also used as a laxative because it is non-digestible and can pass through the digestive tract. In the colon, it absorbs large amounts of water to soften and bulk the stool so that you can poop easier. It can be used in construction materials like cement because it helps with water retention, the thick texture, and its ability to stick to surfaces. And continuing with the theme of viscosity and stickiness, it is used in your plant-based burger to bind and hold together the other ingredients for better texture. It is also used in emulsions like sauces and salad dressings. Emulsions are a mixture of two substances that separate if left to sit. Methyl cellulose stabilizes emulsions so that they separate slower. Methyl cellulose is also special because it forms a gel when heated, becoming more solid, but changes back as the temperature goes back down. This reversible process is called thermal gelation. This is useful in pastries because it can help keep the liquid inside from boiling out since the filling will become thicker and hold its shape better as the pastry is heated. So going back to the original question, is it safe? It is safe, but how do I know? If we look at the Code of Federal Regulations, we can see that methyl cellulose is generally recognized as safe by the FDA. This means that its safety has been proven scientifically and is based on a long history of safe consumption. It also means that products are assessed by experts to make sure that methyl cellulose is being used properly and safely. This ensures that producers are not putting an excess amount in a food product. In addition, the harmful effects of methyl cellulose that have been found were in a study on rats, where they were consuming 26 times more than the average adult's daily dietary intake. My so even though it's used in a bunch of products you wouldn't eat, methyl cellulose itself is safe. So to summarize, some important characteristics of methyl cellulose are its indigestibility, water solubility, its ability to increase viscosity, and thermal gelation. Some examples of products it's used in are liquid soaps, laxatives, construction materials, and foods such as plant-based meat, emulsions, and filled pastries. And it's generally recognized as safe by the FDA. That's all for today, and I hope you learned something new about methylcellulose.